rare treat here. It's one of... Something heavy. <laughs> something very heavy. <laughs> it's a volume containing manuscript poems, songs and letters by the lyricist and Scottish poet, Rabbi Burns. Look at that, that's beautiful. It was given to the British Museum Library in 1858 mm -hmm. by a Burns superfan of the time, <laughs> Archibald Hasty, who was an MP for Paisley. You can see here just how much there is in here. This is a hell of a collection. In these pages, Burns recorded popular songs from across Scotland, preserving them for the nation. Many of the songs found here were published before the great poet's early death, including the famous Red Red Rose. So this is the Red Red Rose. Would you like to read some of this? I can try. Oh, my loves, like a red red rose, that's newly sprung in June. Oh, my love's like the melody that's sweetly played in tune. I think it's probably the first Burns tune I ever got to know. OK. And was it something that you remember throughout your childhood? Yes. <laughs> you couldn't avoid that, yeah. being, being a, um, a Scott school, growing up in school Ayrshire, trip, school trips yeah. and, and, and many more trips. <laughs> but my love is like a red, red rose is always key because of what it is. It's about love. And there's nobody, I think, that wrote more sincerely and more regularly about love and loss. And that just helpless, hopeless, just <laughs> totally, like, get yourself together. But he just, he was a hopeless romantic. And in the most extreme sense, and in many ways in the most lovable sense, yeah. and the extent of his just, like, horrendous love life <laughs> and unruliness and just um it's so fascinating though because I, I want to sit and have a gossip about oh, it totally. now. Yeah, yeah. how many children do you have with how many people and he it's was, sort of even now sort of hundreds was, of years later it's a really oh, no, exciting like, topic right you would be talking about it yeah. if you were walking around <laughs> now but that's not something that that's told to you as a little no, eight-year-old of course um, not <laughs> I never get over <laughs> sitting in front of these going, Burns wrote these, right. which is sort of right. it is. Absolutely and right. also, you know, you think about how long ago it was oh, as well. That's so true. Maybe it's just my patriotic side coming out. I don't know. I feel like he was able to be so relatable. And the title of the people's poet is not a title given lightly. I think it's so absolutely accurate for what he represents. I really just love him when I look at his writing. I think it would have fancied Burns. It's funny with these things, the more you spend time with the physical documents, the longer the person starts to emanate from the page. And it is an emotional reaction to it. His writing is so, so beautiful and so soulful. It's got a warmth and a fluency to it. He's just such a tragic figure to me that I, I find myself getting a bit heartbroken around Burns. 